technology is helping surgeons take some of the pain out of knee replacements. 13's Melissa Bruner has a closer look in tonight's To Your Health report. Your knee is a complicated machine. Your femur rotates on the tibia, your patella rotates over the femur, and then your, your femur and your uh, tibia hinge back and forth on each other. So it has a much more complex motion. Dr. Casey Whale, an orthopedic surgeon with Topeka Stormont Vale, says that makes knee replacements a challenge. To get the artificial joint in place involves cutting through the ligaments that make everything work. Even if I recreate the rest of the anatomy of the knee perfectly, I've already distorted the way your knee functions by taking out the ligaments. Robotics have been around a while now trying to minimize those cuts and new developments aim to make them work even better. One approach, using CT scans to create and print three-dimensional guides. And that allows for more, again, more accurate and more precise um, cuts as far as how much we're resecting from the front of the knee, the back of the knee, the top of the tibia. An even newer development uses a computer to map out the knee, taking into account how everything moves. There's a high speed infrared camera that knows where both the robot as well as the patient's anatomy, patient's bone is in space. Okay. We're shooting to create equal gaps. That gap measurement is essentially how much tension is on the soft tissue. So rather than having to release soft tissue structure and cut structures that you potentially need, I'm leaving the soft, soft tissue intact and instead I'm recreating a more anatomic cut of the bone. The robot will bring that in and align it with the femur to make the exact cut we map, mapped out. And if I move it, you can see how the robot moves with the patient to maintain the same alignment. It's hoped that maintaining alignment with fewer cuts will increase patient satisfaction. The idea behind it is that by not releasing soft tissue, it would improve recovery, decrease post-operative pain, and improve long-term function. And keep people moving in the right direction. Melissa Bruner, 13 News. Melissa, thanks. Nearly 800,000 total knee replacements are done in our country every year. Long-term data is still being compiled on just how big a difference those new robotic approaches may make in a person's results.